Hey, hey, beautiful babes, your girl, sweet angel. I hope you're doing okay today. And y'all, guess what? I've finally gotten things together. As you recall, a little over a week ago, Maddie exited the beauty room. Yes, she did. So she now has her own glam room, and I'm sure she's going to be delivering a tour for y'all in the near future, you know, what she's got going on in there. But today I wanted to share with y'all since I've reorganized a little bit, kind of cleaned up a little bit, you know, for the most part, everything is where it's going to be that I know of. You know, there may be some additions coming in the future, but for right now, I have pretty much everything, you know, kind of the way I would like for it to be. So what I wanted to do is break out an actual tour for y'all today. Now what you're going to find is that there's going to be three videos that are going to start off pretty much the same way as this one. You're going to get Beauty by Sweet Angel tour. Beauty by Sweet Angel, of course, y'all already know that that is where I do my home remedies, my natural treatments. That is the channel that houses all of that. And then you'll also have probably a snippet of this on behind the scenes as well. You know, just giving you an overall a review or briefing on everything that's in here and so forth. And y'all know Sugar Fingers is now up and running and that's where we do the nails at exactly i have a nail station as well housed in this room which mine is under development because of course most of the stuff that we did nails with you know were was actually maddie's or i purchased it for her because she's my nail girl you know that's what she does but i on the side of everything else have to know how to do what i have to do when it comes to my hair beauty nails whatever so you know your girl is all involved in that too so so now I am shopping, getting my stuff together for that. And more than likely on behind the scenes, you're going to get the makeup side of things. So that's how we're going to break it out today. So if you're ready for it, expect three videos. So when you're looking, you're going to see if you're bona fide, beautiful babe, you're going to watch all three videos because each are going to offer something a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, get my gear together. And again, you know, and this is where I work and my space. So it can't be like completely, completely like neat and tidy but it's tidy but it's just like some little things may be out of place because i've been working today okay so if you're ready let's go ahead and get to it and make sure listen before you go anywhere before you do anything subscribe to the channel if you have not already please y'all in the comment section y'all tell them they need to subscribe because this is where we hang out at absolutely and uh let's get to it y'all so my beauty room is right outside the kitchen and this is the entry to it. There is a, like a bifold door that comes into the beauty room. Now this was formerly my dining room or our dining room. Let me just start from the right hand side of the room. So this is the door where we just came in it. And over here, there is a chair that's been around forever. And of course the walls got painted uh, when we first decided that the dining room was going to be the beauty room. What I have here is those El Cheapo mirrors from like Walmart that cost about $5. They were just sitting around and when Maddie took her mirror down, I just went ahead and put those up for the time being and just um, screwed them into the wall. And yes, I did it myself. Mike did not help me. And over here, this is a station that I have where I get my PR packages in, things that I have to review, along with my air purifier that's there. So those are some items that I do have to review. I'm not sure if they'll be on the channel or not, but I just have to send in uh, after I do my review to them, just a video of that. And there's just some little trays under there uh, with some carpet spray, aroma spray, book spray, something like that. And over in this corner right now, I just have some trays that I use sometimes to mix things up. And a box that I just recently got uh, an item from Amazon on. And y'all, since you're on behind the scenes right now, this is the makeup area over here. I have everything that I need brushes, lipsticks, everything organized, eyeshadow palettes and so forth. So let's just take a gander at all of that. Hey. 
on this next shelf which is not makeup related whatsoever it's just a subscribe pillow a thumbs up pillow my old camera that broke a really old camera that is so cute I just like to keep it because it's cute and uh, it has poor poor quality uh, my first dollar I made on YouTube a little plant that we got from Marshalls or maybe Burlington who knows and over there are essential oils but has n which has nothing to do nothing to do with the makeup but that's where it's at and, and of course the little lights came from Amazon as well those boxes there are just some oils that I have and that's a little fan heater when it gets too cold put the heat on if it's too warm I have a little fan that can blow as well On the top of the bookcases, you'll find little trinkets and so forth, and a picture of me and my little mini me right there. That's Maddie over there with me. And on the wall, that is a beautiful little painting. I love it so much. Uh, it's actually just like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's some art that we picked up, probably either Burlington or at Marshall's, our favorite stores to get what not set. And here we are with a chair. You should have seen a video on it already where we picked it up at. It also came with a footstool, which since the room was so cluttered, we had to go ahead and move it out of here. Maddie actually has it in her bedroom. Moving along this wall, if you recall also, we had a Hello Beautiful stencil on the wall, but considering I had to add additional space, uh, I had to cover up the Hello part. But above there it says Bless, and there is a bookcase on top of the chest of drawers here. The chest actually housed uh, a lot of the mixing things, my bottles, my measuring cups, uh, different utensils, bowls, etc., etc., over there. And over here in this corner, trying to give a little bit of light. I'm trying not to let it be too blinding to you. Um, there is just some of the little storage bins with little whatnots in it my beautiful bay cups right there. And again, these store like some of my dry goods that I use for mixing. I don't store them in the kitchen because I don't want, you know, Mike is always like complaining about the space in the kitchen. So I don't want to take up his space for my stuff. And my world famous oils are over here. And of course, this is where I do my makeup at. So you'll see most of my little hair products that I use day to day, um, my little dirty makeup brushes. This armoire, which is a jewelry armoire, I actually store my everyday makeup in here. So that's what's actually in here, like little things I use on a daily. So I know it may be kind of dark over here and you can't see, but hey, that's it. Okay, over here, of course, y'all remember my mini fridge is right there. I have my waxer. I have my facial tools and my steamer, just some Kleenex. And um, some little things that I may do in giveaways when I start that process back up again. All of these little bins, if y'all recall, they used to sit behind me. But now they're over here storing all of my natural treatment stuff, like my powders and and oils and aloe vera and so forth and so on. So those are all over there, but you'll get a full overview on Beauty by Sweet Angel. And over here is where I sit. This is my desk. That's my little old tablet. All of my plugs and bells and whistles go there. There's Alexa Echo. She is stuck over in the corner there. And my little fan that I keep on when I'm doing my makeup so it won't get too hot. My mirror, uh, my cell phone. Yes, I'm starting back trying to do workout Wednesday. So that is that. And that's my desk. You may recall Mike and I did like a DIY of the desktop. So this is just actual flooring. 
and that's where my camera would go when I'm filming. Just try not to blind y'all too much, but I have two ring lights. Those two right there is what I use. They're usually brighter than that when I'm filming. So over here, again, more continuation of the bins over here. And she's out of place. Yeah, I used some castor oil this morning in my hair, so that's why she's out of place. All right and there's a little tv up there i'm not sure if the tv is staying this was maddie's old tv and we used it just to you know watch youtube on it while we're in here so she may take it or she may get the other one because i think we're planning on putting a bigger tv in the den and she may just take that one which she's just going to use it i guess as a monitor in her glam room but she hasn't really thought about whether she's going to do that or not and over here is the nail stuff so and the all right beautiful babes to all of my nail lovers, this right here is my little nail work area here. So this houses everything pertaining to nails. So in these little bins up here, I just have little what -nots. It's like stencils and cotton balls, etc. that's going to be in there. These are all of my gel polishes. I did do a review of these gel polishes. These are beetles, which I have on the pink right now. It is so pretty. Is this it? Yeah, it's number 422. It is so pretty. This white, I was rocking for a minute. This is uh, a gel polish. I'm not sure who that's by. Maybe y'all can see it better than I. I don't know. Um, up here, I think I have all of my nail files and buffers and so forth and so on. And that little bin, yeah, that's what's in there. And I just love these little bins. I get them from the Dollar Tree. Love them so much. Next shelf has my little mini USB UV LED light lamp for the gel polish. This is the new one I just got from, um, I ordered it from Amazon. The Bolin Sun UV LED lamp. It's really cute. It has the handle on it as well, which I won't use that much because it's plastic. My drill bits are right in here. And these are my sanding bands. And this is my new drill, my new e-file. I love this little thing. It's so lightweight and it's so convenient. And the drill actually goes in here this is my favorite drill bit that i keep in there and that is that shelf down here you'll find i have these little clamps are just the ones that you use to remove your gel polish you just soak your cotton ball with acetone and clamp that onto your fingers and just let it soak off so that's easy all of my brushes and my nail stuff is there. My top coat and base coat. Uh, my dirty file and buffer. I usually kind of rinse those off after I do my nails, but I didn't on yesterday. This is the cutest little brush here. I got it from Amazon, of course. And it is so nice to dust away all of the little stuff when you filed your nails. And again, little scissors. And back there... That is some cuticle remover from Avon. I've had it for a long time, so I'm not even sure if they carry that anymore. And I have another brush, which was actually a makeup fan brush, but I used it originally to dust away any drill dust off of my hands. Those are dip powder, along with the dip powder little system here from one through six with the, you know, the bond, the primer or whatever, and, uh, activator and brush cleaner those are poly gels i did do a video on the poly gel which i'll be uploading if i have not already those back there are not tips they're actually model one and i'm not sure if it's mccart or whatever or azure beauty they sent those to um i did a review on them on one of my other channels and those are just the little forms the nail forms and down here, you just have your regular nail polish. These have, I've had them for so long. I actually did a whole review. I was just obsessed with Ulta Beauty's nail polish. So I have oodles of those, y'all. That looks like about 
40 nail polishes from them alone and those are all of the ones um there's my foot file back there don't know why it's not in the foot thing but don't don't judge me okay these are all my foot products right here down in that plastic tub is actually um, glitters. They're like nail glitters or powders, but I put them in there because they can get pretty messy. This is the alcohol I use. Oh, uh, lots of alcohol around here. We were stocked up on alcohol even before COVID-19, okay? <laughs> Always keep it around. And that is acetone right there, pure acetone. We get that from Sally's Beauty. And I'll have that stuff linked below for y'all. But this is all of the nail stuff in the beauty room. So this concludes the full tour of the beauty room and with everything related to sugar fingers, okay? So this is pretty much it, y'all. I'm sorry it was kind of wobbly. I just really had no other way to really do this other than show you like so. Get that light out of y'all face. And wish I had a drone I could just show y'all everything like so. <laughs> and this is it. And uh, this little rug here, we got it at some home decor store. Um, I liked it in the beginning, but it gets so dirty because it was so pretty and white at first. And now it's kind of like a dingy black and uh, whatever color that is now. But this is it, y'all. And this year for sure, the chandelier has got to go. We got to put a fan in there because it gets super hot in here when it gets in the deep summer time. So definitely got to do that. But y'all, this is it for the overall tour. Now just stay tuned for the portion of Beauty by Sweet Angel to go over what's on the wall for the home treatments. So stay tuned for those upcoming videos. And I thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this little tour, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and please share me with your world. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, beautiful babes. Bye. Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning?